So here we have the, uh, the old famous Vetchfield Stadium at Swansea, just about finished now. Um, it's been a delightful project to work on, it's a commission for uh, a chap I met online and um, I've really enjoyed trying to create a, a floodlit vibrancy about this stadium and I think we've, uh, we're just about there. Um, so working around from the old stand with the, uh, the lettering on the, on the roof there, the old Welsh beers or Welsh brewery, um, which uh, <clears throat> I always like to see on the old football stadiums, the old advertisements on the roof, so I think it gives it a real period feel. Uh, you know, we've got the buildings on the outside and uh, I think that, you know, creating a landscape externally for me is uh, just as important and that's why I was particularly excited about painting Vetchfield because it had a, a quite a dramatic landscape coming down into the stadium. Um, and the shape of the, uh, the, the, the surrounds of this stadium confined in this stadium to, uh, to, to tight angles and uh, almost quite strange angles. Um, and this stand here opposite the double decker uh, was a certain sort of almost triangular shape due to the constraints of the external uh, surroundings and then obviously the, uh, the north bank there where all the noise came from so I managed to get the light underneath and the supporters heads there uh, just to create that night glow um, and obviously the lights and then we're looking back into the new stand here um, and the uh, all the hats and scarves that I've managed to get into to place to really, really give it some colour at the front end and uh, some atmosphere, which is what we're always looking for. So yeah, Vetchfield just about complete now and um, ready for varnishing Then its uh, journey itself. So thanks for tuning in viewers, it's been a pleasure talking to you this morning. Uh, if you've got any uh, ideas or things you may want to look at having painted in the future, drop me a message. Take care now.